Hello guys and welcome to Crypto Bull. In this video we are going to talk about RSS feeds and not our simple RSS feed which we used to have previously but we are going to talk about Web 3.0 RSS feed which will work for Web 3.0 and previously we also with Web 2.0 we had a web feed which is RSS web feed which was feeding different applications all around the internet however this feed lost its usability as the huge corporations came in like Facebook or Microsoft Microsoft technologies, Google came in and these huge companies they took over. However, this will not be possible with Web 3.0 guys because Web 3.0 will be decentralized. I'm not talking only about that it will be fully decentralized and it will be running different applications, but it will also be running on different blockchains. And this means that on different blockchains, different web applications will be built. And that's why we need another RSS solution. And that solution is provided by RSS three and this is the project which we will be talking about in this video and by the way guys this project is backed by huge companies like coinbase ventures which is already also invested in this project and another huge names which we will talk about in this video but today we are going to talk about rss3 So what is RSS3? So this is a web feed. This is very technical project. That's why I will not be getting much into technical details of this project. But the main thing what this project is doing, it is solving a web 3.0 web feed problem. And this feed is already used on different applications, which we will review a little bit later in this video. But in general, RSS3 is the next generation feed standard that aims to support efficient and decentralized information distribution. This means that this information will be gathered and it will be distributed on request by different applications that require it but as you know guys with web 3.0 we are working on different blockchains there is ethereum blockchain there is avalanche blockchain there is for example matic or polygon layer and many others which are out there guys and that causes a problem where with for example web 2.0 we had only internet we didn't have any blockchains built on that internet and in this case as the many blockchains with web 3.0 is coming in guys and all data on this blockchain which is also web 3.0 which will be built and which is the next move pretty much in all internet which will be built this is causing a problem for simple rss feed because it is not running from server but it has to be decentralized and it has to create an interoperability on these blockchains and this is exactly what RSS3 is solving and if we talk about their white paper which you can also access from their website as you see if you click into the white paper you will find a lot of information here which is very very technical guys which I will not be getting into it as you see there is formulas there are graphs there are charts and there is everything explained how this layer will be working and how it will be distributing information and how users will be able to use it however i will not be getting into technical details but i wanted to show you this one chart which shows the pretty much the flow of this application and how it works as you see each user on this application they will have a file and here is more information about it as you see introduction to rss3 by the way as always all links will be in description of this video if you are interested to check more information go into these links as like i mentioned they will be in description of this video go and check this information out for yourself as i am here giving you just the main features or giving you the main idea behind these projects which i am reviewing and which i find interesting myself as you see rss3 gives every persona an rss3 file which is the source data of profile with constantly updating feed so this feed it will be updating all the time that user configured feed as an aggregation of all the cyber activities one might have is then utilized by different applications to build out social media content networks games or other different decentralized applications in comparison to simple rss feed or previous rss feed which we had previously guys rss3 feed will be fully decentralized and this feed is already powering multiple applications as you can see here guys rss3 powers various applications including social medias content networks metaverse 
softwares of e-commerce platforms and games for example here are some applications which they are already powering and this is one's jeans bio your web 3.0 in one shot and flones an open protocol of identity and assets and in group a decentralized group social networks where you can build different social networks in decentralized manner masks network the portal to the new open internet reverie cyber activities in one place and show me an nft social subscription platforms so this feed is already implemented and being used by many different protocols and many different companies and not mention guys that this project is also like i mentioned at the very start backed by huge names like for example this one of the developers or ceo and co-founder of this project is DIY God and DIY God is a famous decentralized community founder and this project already is had a pre-funding rounds and this project already has been invested by many huge names like as you see here guys there is a 3 rise funding round to expand decentralized protocol for web feed and content distribution and there are such a huge names like CoinShares, Coinbase, Ventures, Dragonfly Capital this there was like I mentioned already this pre funding round there were already these huge names participated there are many more which you can also preview here like i mentioned all links will be in description there are huge huge names which already invested in pre-funding round and currently they also are starting a public sale you can call it as a public sale however this will act totally differently as, as you see rss3 liquidity bootstrapping pool this means that the investors will be able to participate and this liquidity bootstrapping pool will be different from public sales as we know it it will start on 12th of december and it will finish on 15th of december of 2022 guys but the idea here is totally different from what we know with current public sales because those people who will be FOMOing in at the very start they will be buying at the highest prices as this will be lasting for three days it will be selling a certain amount of tokens i believe it was 75 million of tokens will be sold in this liquidity bootstrapping pool but if the tokens will not be sold straight away when this round will open as the time passes the price will be dropping of each token and this is very interesting concept Concept, which I haven't seen before and you can find more information yourself in this liquidity bootstrapping for RSS3 token guys for yourself but in general yes I find that this project has a future this is already being used it is solving a real world problem for feeds for RSS feeds especially there is interoperability problem which can't be solved and which can't be used by current RSS feeds which are out there so yes this is just my opinion on the RSS3 my review on RSS3 if you found this video useful leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in the next one